I'm Stefan Spastiani. I've been shoeing now for 16 years. I shoe mainly Saddlebreds, Morgans, Arabs, Jumpers, Dressage Horses, Rainers, pretty much any types of horses across the board. We have multiple different rigs. We travel to five different states. I have the forge mounted on the driver's side of the truck and I made sure to diamond plate the back so it doesn't get too hot where it melts anything. But the propane tank and everything for this side with all the tools and equipment sit on the driver's side of the truck and it's mostly for weight distribution versus the passenger side of the truck. There's enough space in here for two people to work comfortably uh, as there's two entrances to the van in the front and the rear. This one is outfitted to the point where it can handle almost any breed of horse. Shoeing wise where the other van is set up more for shoeing quarter horses or a lighter work. I keep most of the shoes are on the driver's side of the truck and that's just the front shoes and the front sets. The hind shoes I keep on the passenger side and once again it's just for multiple weight distribution and just more storage space. This is a 2500 Mercedes turbo diesel. It's a six cylinder. It gets about 26 miles to the gallon and I can go from Lake Geneva, Wisconsin all the way to Flint, Michigan on one tank of fuel. Uh, it gets about 530 miles to a tank of fuel. These vans aren't anywhere near what a truck costs. I used to run F-150s all the time consistently with trucks and trailers and 250s and they're just more cost effective and it's with a high roof and it's a 2500, it's not even a 1500. There's a bulkhead that separates me from the truck and my cab, which does have a walk-through door. On the passenger side of the van keeps all the supplies, medicines, Equipack, you know, whatever else isn't needed. The other van uh, that we have uh, is uh, Ford Transit Connect. They are outfitted by Stonewell as well. They're set up more for lighter work, trims, front shoe jobs, boarding stable. They all have smaller forges, uh, smaller forges, smaller anvils, usually 75 pound anvils because they can't carry the amount of weight. They get about 21 miles to the gallon, and the same thing goes for them. They're only roughly about anywhere between 10 to 13,000. I attended a clinic in Michigan a few years ago. There were a bunch of young farriers there. A farrier came up to me, a young one that had only been out of school for a couple of years, and he had asked me what vehicle I had in the parking lot and he pointed to the biggest rig in the parking lot. It's because of who I am. And I told him, no, I just took a little SUV here. And he was confused on why I wouldn't drive this enormous farrier rig. They were told during shoeing school that, you know, there is a, a you do want to look like a professional while you are shoeing horses. And that is extremely true. You do want to look like a professional shoeing horses. But by the time he got done paying for his rig out of shooting school and his box that went on the back of it, he was $100,000 in debt because he was told to look like a professional. When he only had maybe two, three days worth of work a week without the work to sustain what he was paying in loans on this vehicle. I don't see why you would sink yourself into debt while you're starting a business if you don't have the money to sustain what you're paying. As far as professionalism goes, um, as I said, looking like a professional, uh, speaking like a professional, being able to hold conversations with your customers and giving them a solution when they have a problem with their horse is something that's extremely important in the business. That is something that I require for my employees to continue education. They're required to go to two clinics every year um, and they're required to pursue certifications as well. And that is just to keep a professional practice running instead of just hearsay, we heard this guy was good.